No, it's like a lot of people think I'm a Bay Station, but I'm in a mobile. Barefoot mobile. Just a barefoot mobile, but anyone's willing to take the 10K challenge. One, two, three, Top Gun of Tennessee. We hear you over here in New Mexico, you mud duck. I'm running a fine tuned Striker SR955 with a Francis antenna and a mobile. I guarantee it. Well, I'll be damned. That's what I'm running is a Striker 955. Right, it's not a fine tuned though. They're an entirely different driver. Yes, sir, exactly. I'm glad you agree. They're entirely different. Entirely different, you know? Oh, yeah. I'm only pushing uh, 150 watts. I'm only doing 22. Jesus. 22 continuous. You're, there's no way you're doing 150. I'm not really picking on you, but bear with me. I do this for a living. So I know how to calculate a watt. So, therefore, if you're 50 or 150, you're actually putting out way less than a factory radio would. 10-4? Yeah, you're Absolutely no way, driver. No way. But if that's what you've seen, he was playing that hocus pocus Houdini watts on you, 10-4. Oh, uh, yeah, he probably was. Who was it? Where was it? We were playing CB shop in Georgia. 10-4. Uh, well, you're making a trip over here. I know who he is. Yeah, I'm in Lordsburg, but I'm not open to the public driver, okay? I, I, I was open to, open to the public swinging doors for over 20 years. For the last five years, I'm nothing but mail order. Too much too much headache to be open, you know what I mean? I, I appreciate the, the offer, though. But yeah, I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm out here with my dog, letting him out nice and calm and peaceful. I'm just on the other side of the interstate. And uh, I, I just talk on the radio every now and then, you know. Oh yeah, I don't blame you on that one. All right, where are you at? Are you uh, at the 24 or are you at the 20? No, I'm at the 29. I'm rolling down the road. Uh, tempo on rolling. All right. Looking at you, I'm I'm one of the three. I'm the center truck with the driver door open. Looking at you over here, 24, flying J. Are you talking to me? If you're talking to me, I'm on the other side of the interstate. Cool. I'm on the south side of the interstate, driver, and uh, my dog is black and white. What color is the dog that you see? Uh, I saw something white with four legs to it. <laughs> You're on the south. That's the south side of the interstate. I'm on the north side of the interstate, so it all, it's all piecing together. <laughs> as long as you're across on 24 there, south side of 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must have some really damn good eyes or binoculars, because I can see over there at the Flying J, and that's pretty good ways away over there, man. But that's okay. Yeah, I got a white dog, black spots, named Mofo. His first name's Hey. Go ahead. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, you got good eyes. Yeah, I'm just 
I come over here, man, it's nice and peaceful. Let my dog out, right? I hear that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Hell, that's why I like parking in the back 40 back here. I can shut off the engines and yeah. not have to worry about too much background noise. I can just kind of enjoy the Heck yeah. nature and the serenity of it. <laughs> yeah, I feel you 100%, man. Nature and serenity in paradise till they paved the parking lot. Do you know that tune? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, farmer, put away the DDT. Give me the spots and the birds and the bees. Look up uh, Joni Mitchell. It's a good song, man, from like, the, I don't know, 69 or 70. You know who Joni Mitchell is, I'm sure. She wrote the song Woodstock. And the name of the tune is actually Big Yellow Taxi. But I got you on the serenity and the you know peace and quiet. I don't drive a truck anymore. It's been over 20 years since I have, but I did for a while. And I'd park in spots like I'm at right now just to get away from everybody. Usually had a dog, and I'd cook with my gas grill, etc. Times have really, really, really changed, though. They really have. Yeah, well, you know, if you don't know it, what it was like way back when, I guess you're not really missing nothing. It was a good time and good people, so just look forward into the future, man, and be happy with it. Some guys just drone over the past and how it used to be, and they make themselves miserable. That's my opinion. You know, you got to make things the best you can, right? It sounds like you got a good attitude, Mr. Truck Driver. to kind of take over. I couldn't tell you who quoted it, so, uh, you know, whoever coined the phrase, uh, give them credit. Like I say, I don't know who it is. But uh, the saying goes in this sense. The problem is not the problem. The problem is how you handle the problem. So if you handle it in the correct manner, it then becomes not a problem. So, if, if you go about your life and daily routines on that mention, then that's a, everything will be perfectly fine. Okay, you blew a tire. You hit a skunk. You know, whatever. Oh, you know, the tax oh. guy, Uncle Sam's coming after your pocketbook. Well, what are you going to do to make it better? Sitting here bitching about it ain't going to make it no better. Get out there and do something about it. That'll make it better. And you just keep doing that, and hell, you ain't got nothing to worry about. That's right, man. That's the way I look at it. I, I know a short way of putting it. Your glass is half full. Instead of half empty, an optimistic attitude and go forward. Just take care of the scenario and be happy at it. Bad things do happen. You got to take care of that, too. And by the way, that uh, guy that was at the 29 with that 955, where are you at now? I could make it all the way out to that uh, Petro out there if you got like one of my radios, but let's see if you can make the trip. Yeah, we lost them. The biggest part of the radios today is the receive. It's not just the transmit, guys. It's how you can receive, and a lot of it is the noise that your trucks generate and pathetic antenna systems, but... That's the way it is. It, it, like you were saying, you just have to either live with it or make it better. I think part of it's a lot of guys don't know how to use squelch and RF gain to their advantage. Yeah, and you can't have any inverters and cell phone chargers with a square wave, you know, charger, and all kinds of other noises generated inside the vehicle. And that threshold of noise can be greater than the signal at a distance, and you won't be able to hear nothing. But you're right. 
A lot of you guys don't know how to tune them, how to use them, etc. Well, I run with a guy every once in a while. He's got it set to where it doesn't make any noise on his radio, and that's where it stays. And shit, I can only talk to him for 100 yards or so. <laughs> Ryan, he probably don't care one way or another, does he? No, he doesn't. As long as he can talk to you when you're driving right there with him, that's, that's all he cares about. Well, look on the bright side. At least he's using a radio. If someone's close by him and there might be an accident or something, he could at least hear it and adjust to the situation, right? Yeah, that's, that's a good way to look at it. Well, it's been a while since I've been able to carry on a halfway decent conversation here locally. Normally, people just want to argue and fight, and I find that to be sad. I ignore that stuff, man. I don't... I don't want to be a part of any of that. I, I've got to get into this. Give me a call or any of the conversations to hear you guys not arguing and fighting. Oh, I got you. And listen to that voice. I'm not weird, man, but you got a good sound and deep sounding voice there, man. Sounds good, bud. That was because he keyed up on that uh, first driver that started talking. Yeah, I'm, I'm at a distance from all you guys, so I'm probably going to hear a little bit different, right? too, so I'm heading eastbound. Roger, you sound great. Your radio's working good. Just leave it alone. I appreciate it. I need to get this thing peaked in tune. It's just a factory radio. There's nothing special about it. <laughs> well, let me tell you, I'm, I've been doing the video gig. This is going to, well, now that I, I'm saying this, I hope the conversation doesn't change. But I'm going to put this up on YouTube, and you're going to hear your radio and other radios. And when you hear your radio, you're going to say, leave it alone. I'm telling you, leave your radio alone, bud. Just work on your antenna system. It's working great. Who is this, Mark Anthony? No, it's Mark Hard Drive, 163. I'll subscribe. Now you look up Hard Drive on YouTube, you'll find it, I guarantee it. I don't want to talk no business. I'm just kicking back and enjoying life a little bit. My dog's back in the Jeep. He's already done his 10-100, 10-200, and there's been a couple of cool things for YouTube. Barefoot radio stock not tucked. One is doing 150, and we lost him real quick. And people actually getting along and using their radios. That's what it's about. I'll look you up on YouTube, man. What kind of Jeep you got? I got a 2002 uh, white Grand Jeep Cherokee. There it is right there. Jeep guy, I've got a. What's your 20s of? I, I love Jeeps, man. Right, yeah, this is my third one so far. Yep, my third one. And uh, he asked me where I was. I met, the other driver asked me where I was. I'm at the 24 on the south side of the interstate. Ah, oh, shit, I'm a little ways from me, man. I'm I'm down the road outside of Lordsburg somewhere. I don't, I don't even know. I'm at the first exit outside of Lordsburg. You're doing pretty good. You have to give me a mile marker. You're, what, maybe five miles away? Uh, no, I'm coming up on that exit right now. I'll be able to give you a number here in just a second. I'm at the 29. Five miles, man. You're doing great. So check out the video game, man, really. You know, it probably sounds weird that a CV man's telling you to leave your radio alone. Well, I'm telling you that. When you figure out who you're talking to, I'm nothing special. I do my job. But you're going to say, holy moly, that's kind of weird. Because your next step is going to cost you a lot of money. So if you're happy with what you got right now, and it's working great, driver, leave it alone. on changing anything. It would be kind of cool to get it peaked in tune, but I'm, I'm no. not even worried about it. It's, this thing works good <laughs> enough for anything I use it for. That's my point. Unless they got a real bench and know what they're doing, your radio is performing and sounds great. I should become, I'm not being arrogant, but if I sound like ridiculously crystal clear on your radio on your end, your receiver is working perfect. Don't touch it. Please check out the video gate. Really? I'll, I'll, take, I'll keep an eye out for you. You said hard drive, right? Yeah, that's it. That's it. You know, I, I, I try to preach this left and right about radios, you know, tuning and peaking, screwdriver jockeys getting in there and jacking up radios. 
if you can't measure peak ratios, frequency response, then if they just get in there and start cranking on stuff, it's like not knowing how to turn up a pump in a truck. Well, that goes back a few decades. But anyways, leave it alone, man. It's working great. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> and see your next step, you know, just leave that alone. Leave it alone. The next step is owning an ohmmeter and analyzer and finding an actual tech that can do the work and then you can follow directions and do exactly what he tells you to do. Then go from there, otherwise leave it alone. It's working fine. Move on to something else with life. Yeah, I mean you gotta you seem like you have a great attitude out here on the road. Keep it up. Can't be negative out here, man. I'd drive you insane. Yep. <laughs> See that barefoot radio? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it can, it surely can. I spent 17 years over the road, but done there been that. I started in 1983. I was 21 years old in a couple of weeks. For a company called HL Stancil, trucking for Jesus out of Palm Harbor, Florida. There was nobody else in North America that would hire me at 21 to go over the road back then. I drove a 1972 GMC Astro from Florida to Vancouver, BC and back. Maybe, maybe six years ago, I, I can't even remember anymore. Right, safety first, man. I was an instructor for four years of my life. And what I could pass on to you, when you're at five years, you gotta pay twice as much attention. Cause you kinda get cocky if you haven't had no accidents yet, so that's when you start. So pay attention, safety first, man. Safety first is where it's at. Call me hard drive, 163. Mud Duck Radio, I'm gonna end this video again. You guys, have a great day. Be nice to each other out there. Clear. Yeah. Have a good one, man. I don't know, man. Uh, I might talk to you a little bit longer with that barefoot stock radio you got. You're doing great. What is it? 29 or unit in or what? It's just a Cobra 29. Okay, Cobra 29. Which version is it? Actually came in this truck. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's over 29 LTD on it, I think. Roger, stock mic too, right? No, I've got an ecstatic on it, and then uh, the, I've got two Wilson antennas. Gotcha on the co base. I just looked down at my camera, and my red minutes are on. It says three. So before I screw up and it doesn't save this video, I'm gonna say goodbye, man. Safety first, okay? I gotta stop this little video again. Y'all take care. Hard drive 163, Mud Duck Mobile. Clear and gone, quick, quick.